Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We're looking at the vista, the scenery of uh, a before. I did a little work to it. Uh, before we get going though, this is the last Transport Fever video in this series. Before I go on holiday. No, it's not the last in the series. I usually make a community post about that. If I'm going on vacation, however, I realise that some of you don't read them. And in fact, there was a point where you couldn't read them on every device. So there we go. This will be the last video. And then there'll be two weeks where our wife and I will be recharging our batteries as the last time we booked a vacation. Um, the entirety of Texas pretty much froze over and we lost power and water for that entire vacation. So rather than enjoying ourselves, we were stressed out and uh, just thankful to be alive. So that out the way, I have a transition for us, guys. There we go. What do you reckon? I have been super busy. Now this was fraught with problems. I'd done all these fields. I hit save. Normally when I save my work, it's every roughly every half an hour, if I remember. And I call it something like edit one, edit two, edit three. The one time I accidentally call it the previous save, the game crashed. So yes, I lost an hour of work and I was not best pleased. I say an hour because of course it trashed the save, which was half an hour's work. And then the half an hour I was saving and all of this field work you see here, gone, vanished. I got back into it. Because I wasn't going to be defeated. And here we are. It actually didn't take me as long to do it the second time around. As I learned a few things which I'll share with you. Throughout the course of the series. And uh, yeah. I'm happy with it now. So here we are. Should we take a look? There we go. There's fields. Um, they don't look too fantastic close up. They're alright aren't they? They'll do the job. Uh, there's not much detail going on. Because you won't really see them. It's either going to be aeroplanes that we see it which is fine from this distance or from our trains where you'll occasionally see it there is a little farm building up there i was just seeing what assets i had available and what i could do with them uh they're all right aren't they and there's a bear just there <laughs> that's all right i like this i didn't put too many assets in because you won't see it i could have put some cars in i couldn't find any tractors either which was a bit of a shame. I did take a look around, but I couldn't see any. This is okay though, isn't it? It means if we have to do a farm or something similar close to the uh, the rail line over there, anywhere on the map, especially as we go between uh, Glasgow and Edinburgh, then I've got a rough idea of what assets I can use. But for a distance, I mean, you can sort of see it. You can certainly see it that there's a something going on there in the distance but yeah i finished this finally as well that'll do quite nicely it's roughly what goes on there more roads have been done this lined up almost perfectly with our station bar head which we are going to be building today that's what the plan is uh, i was testing out some textures as well which farm textures would uh, look the best from a distance which is why it's so varied it doesn't look like this on google maps it pretty much looks like two different types of green and that's about it so there we have it it looks the part doesn't it i love it absolutely love it it's uh coming together i've got over my saltiness i was a little bit salty when i lost all my work yeah so i'm going to be doing a lot of this and probably bigger fields uh, Here's the little trick we can do for the edge of the map. That's what I'm going to have. A row of trees blocking it. If it's visible. Uh, if it's not visible or there's a hill there. You probably won't need it. Because if we zoom down. It just looks like it heads off into the distance. But uh, yeah. We could possibly ride some cars along the roads as well. They don't look too bad do they? A little bit uh, wavy. But to be fair. Motorways are not always perfectly flat, are they? No. There we go. There goes our train. 
Uh, you can't see much going this way. You can see more heading the other way. Cheeky little cab ride at the beginning. That doesn't normally happen, does it? But yeah, I've done some work ahead of us as well. You can start to see if you look out that way. I mean, there is the possibility of a sort of passenger ride, isn't there? There's a bear sprinting across. I did do this bit, which is why we're on board. And uh, it looks a little better. There is a cutting here and then there's a bridge straight after it. A uh, small road that goes over the top. There we go. And uh, that does exist. And there's that little bit of farm we were doing. Neilston, that's where we're heading. And there's a, a sort of a landmark thing over there that I put in. It's a little closer to Neilston than it should be. But I really wanted it to be visible. So I shoved it closer so that we could maybe see more of it. There we go. Just something different in the distance there. It's going to be blocked by a few trees possibly uh, some houses I don't think there are houses here it's going to be mostly field work but as long as we get a glimpse of it I'll be happy uh, there's a, more detail in here than is necessary but at least it looks good from from a distance but yes today we've got to build this haven't we it's not a simple station by any stretch of the imagination however we can possibly go a bit longer than we usually do just to make sure we can uh, do it justice since it is the last station on this line uh, before we head off to the uh, portal to Kilmarnock. I do feel like I wish this was a little higher, which we might do. That would help us out a little bit if we had a little climb up here to uh, Nitz Hill. And then that makes the climb up here a little easier. Yes. It feels like a thing we should do. Shall we take a look at the map, guys? If we get down here, you'll see it is uh, very fancy, isn't it? Isn't that wonderful? I love that. We're not going to be able to recreate it with this building. We can, I think, get away with a ground building. I'm not sure because we... Ooh, actually, we're using the uh, freestyle station, aren't we? So, possibly... Yeah, we might be able to find a building similar to this at the very least and have the entrance as an underground thing inside the building. I like that. We might be able to do something. Perfect. I love this. We've got uh, that sort of texture. Not perfect, but we do have it. Now, as was pointed out in the comments, and I did miss it during the episode, there is a third platform just here, a little bay platform to the side. I'm going to wager that there's a barhead service. It terminates at barhead and goes back to Glasgow Central. And I bet it uses this. Um, it could technically also use this platform as we have a crossover here and here. So it could use any of these. All three platforms could be used for a return journey. We have a two car there. Are we going to say that? Oh, I don't know what that is. Is that a 158? Oh yes, it looks like it. It's not very good quality, obviously. I mean, it's it's better quality than it should be. But that possibly looks like a 158. And uh, we're going to get this junction in and we're going to try and do as many fancies as possible. It looks the business, doesn't it? I like it. Uh, do we have anything on the other side? Any crossovers? We do. There's another crossover just here on the other side. Well, does that mean a Kilmarnock train would terminate here as well? Does this go single track? I never noticed. That's why that happens then. Yeah, I never actually noticed that it's a single track after Barhead. And it's right in a cutting, isn't it? Goodness me. Well, I take it back then. Uh, what I said about raising it up, because we can just go up afterwards. We need that big cutting, don't we? That's fantastic. We're still only single track. It looks almost like it was double track. And then they took up the uh, the other track. Yeah, look. Yeah, this definitely looks like it used to be double tracked. I guess there's not many trains that run to Kilmarnock then. If it's only single track. That's cool though. Another piece of single track to the portal would do just fine. 
Yes, we could have a multi-platform uh, portal, perhaps. Yeah, some of this we won't see anyway. Well, there we go. I've learned things. Single track after bar head. It's definitely not towards that way. We do have a little football ground asset as well, don't we? There's the plan. This is staying as is because we do want a nice big... Uh, impressive cutting don't we pretty much straight after the station here and this is not going to be the station so we're going to have it at this height let's uh, demolish it we're going to need to pause it otherwise our train will get really unhappy with us we're going to knock this back up to there we're going to flatten us a section out and work from there and because it's the uh, freestyle station we can continue to draw our tracks and make sure it's nice and flat once we get to the station. Technically, it doesn't need to be flat. But we're going to do it anyway. I'm going to build it at 70. And we've got no catenary out here. It is on a little bit of a curve. So what I would like to do is represent that curve. Oh, no. Because we've got... Uh, see, we're coming up from a slope there. We don't want this section. We've got some stuff to build, haven't we, on the side. And that would be a problem. Let's go 160. This is going to all be the station just here. As long as this reads S, the slope, 0, 0. Goodness me. It's got everything. The minus numbers. Radius scares me. Angle, 0, 0. That's perfectly straight. Isn't that fantastic? There we go. 159.8 meters. Oh, that's wonderful. So if you hover over that now, it tells you a little bit more. So is that... 160 I, it doesn't matter if it is let's keep it flat and straight and then we can bring this one up to meet it right that is our platform a little bit of research suggests that this is going to be p1 on this side p2 on that side and then the little bay platform is p3 which i had a feeling might have been i have to remember we have a bridge here don't we we're going to have to cut right in there that's because this mountainside we've gone a little further than we should be as we should be back there um, but then we'd be way too close to the previous station given that we're heading off to the edge of the map here so what we're going to do we're going to terraform this big time um, from here we're going to cut straight into the side of the mountain here i know it looks a bit rough at the moment now, the crash does mean we might not get in our AI towns because it stuck me back over an hour. What we'll do is we'll get that done and in when I get back from vacation and then we'll, uh, we'll go for some towns. I will be putting up some videos. Uh, they won't be transport fever because I can't really record these ahead in with any sort of efficiency. <laughs> no, they take so long to do all the preparation and i don't want to just rush it to get it in that's tidied that up a little bit hasn't it it's going to make it a little easier then to get our town in here because it, it's going to be a bit or a lot lower than this either side we're going to have the bridge and i didn't want this to be too much of a a slope too soon there we go i'll work on that though so what we need to do is get rid of this segment and then have that last segment as the bridge that's also platforms it's orange well, we could go oh do we have an orange we do have an orange i think it's orange from what i've seen will this work that's about road width isn't it there and there yeah that should do it then we'll need to dig this down and then flatten that out now we should be able to build this side bit as well this platform's a little shorter on this side we could do this take that back up to that point flatten this underneath i don't know whether this is going to be high enough should we check first before we get carried away there is a road and it goes at that sort of angle so we just need a normal city road i'm going to say something like that will do can we go under we can it's about high enough. What I'd like to do then, to make our lives possibly a little easier, is have this as an invisible bridge. There we go. We'll have that there. And that there. Turn that off. We can maybe do something with this. 
to hide it. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Should we get our platforms in? We'd need to start from this end, I think. Like that. There we go. Uh, yeah. Oh, I like that this is on the actual platform. That's beautiful. Oh, I love that. Is that a bit too big? We could... Ah, oh, that's too small. Yes, it's going to be these. There we go. Then we'll bring this all the way up there. And then hopefully... This should be where we end there. And we'll have this one... Go up to that point. And that should be the stagger we need. And it's even got the little curve at the end. Come on, snap. <laughs> Come on, snap to the thing. Oh dear. Right, go from go from there up to that point. Can we get that? I don't know. Snapping doesn't seem to do anything anymore. Oh, it's C, yes. It's no longer shift, guys. <laughs> it's C. Uh, bizarrely. I didn't see that in the patch notes. I guess that's to uh, fix how it used to be. It's not too bad if we get it to there, perhaps. Yes, it's not too bad. I've seen worse. Um, are we happy with that? Is that about the layout of the station? I think so. What is the track length? That's going to be the important thing, isn't it? I'm going to say this is a super slow bit. 15 on this bit. We'll get it drawn in and then figure out the length in one sweep. That is 60 meters. And how much are our two carriage diesels? Uh, if they're 60 meters, around 60 meters, I'll be all sorts of happy. Details, let's take a look. Uh, where's your length? Length, 51 meters. Guys, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. I couldn't have planned it any better, could I? Is that going to be our station? Will it work? I don't know. We might be able to do something with this and make it look better. Uh, maybe detail in it. Uh, for now, I just like the, the angle we've got. What do you reckon, guys? Are we going to get this in today? It would be lovely, wouldn't it? So, P1. We've got to start with this side. From there. Cancel that. What we should do is finish off this bit of track. That'll make our lives a little easier. You continue off that way. Flat. So that it makes the uh, end of the, the bridge here. Okay, waypoints. Let's do this. That way. Here's a thought. Are these supposed to point to each other? Perhaps. So that everything in between is the platform. I mean, it feels like that should be the case. Right, let's get you... Yeah, let's get you a little further in. And a little further in there. There we go. We got it in. It's doing it. We're almost there, guys. Right, and we want something similar with this. So there and there. And then we want the platform there and there. And we want to... Oh, has it called it bar head? Go there. Yes, it has. Join. Oh, it's beautiful. So we've got P1, P2. It's a little bit low, but we can hide that with some uh, some low bridge stuff. Right, and then we've got our final platform, which is a tiny one. It's not going to look great because of the tiny platforms. I hope it works, though. There and there. And then there and there. Join. Will you do it? Oh, my. It's done it, guys. It's only gone and done it. Oh, wow. Oh, I'd love it if these assets were a little bit further back. Can't complain. The station's brilliant. I feel like they should be that side. So then this would be there. And this would be right on the edge here. And it wouldn't look too bad. But the fact that we've even got this in. Has made me happy. What do you reckon guys? We've got it. We've got our station in. We need to get our crossovers in place and hopefully they look the business as well. And they're not going to be too quick either, are they? I'm going to say 25. Uh, we're going to go... I guess we could go a little bit further back there, couldn't we? 
That can go there. This goes in something like that. And then that goes over something like that. Oh, it's beautiful. Signals. I'm going to put one of these in, even though it might not be there. Uh, with the uh, positional signal on it. We do want it one way, don't we? Yes, there we go. We could rename that service, couldn't we? The one we've got. The bar head to uh, instead be the just the one that, if there is one that terminates at bar head, we can call it that. And manage the line, and we'll have it stop at P3. Can we do it? Oh, it's beautiful. Guys. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. I am definitely more excited than I was at the beginning. I mean, what I could have done was uh, build this before we turned it into a station with our assets. Because it's going to be these. Wait, it works on these platforms? Hang on a second. With the... Wait, wait a minute. I've just had a happy. After all the misery I suffered, I've just realised. Guys, do stations... I guess what we could do... It's experiment time. Uh, where's the height? If we get this... 10. It works! You can now snap to the track. You couldn't snap before. You can't snap to these platforms because they're not track. But yes, guys... Oh, that's so much easier. All of these you can snap to now. Oh, that was a sneaky update. There we go, guys. We found something else that's happened. Oh, the amount of times I wanted to get these to be the uh, thing we snap to without having to build more stuff. Oh, I am so happy. Swings and roundabouts with this game. They'll punch you in the face by the game crashing. And then pat you on the head and give you a treat with something like that. Well, I don't know what to say. I'm super happy. Also, I think I forgot to show you in the previous episode. Bus stops. If you wanted to, I'm sure you found out by now. But if you do want to change your bus stops, you can indeed replace them exactly like signals. There we go. And it becomes the new bus stop. Which is fantastic. I wonder what else is... Uh, it's possible to do that with. I don't know. But there we go. That's um, that's another thing that is really cool. But anyway, back to here. And with me being ridiculously excited now. Because this has made this so much easier. It really has. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful, guys. Oh, I'm just going to... Uh, I don't know. Now, I, I was all upset before. And now I'm just super happy. <laughs> that's how it works, isn't it? how it works right let's raise this up a little bit does that flash i think it's acceptable it's acceptable you can't see it right that's the wall that's going along and we can take it all the way up to there there we go how does it look it even fills in everything on the track side there beautiful right and on this side uh, how do we want this? We don't want it that high, do we? Uh, we're going to take that down. Stick that to about 6. I believe should be where the track sits on it. But we need it slightly higher. 7? Seven? 7 is spot on. What I would like this to be is just concrete here. Just so we give it a, a nice base. So we'll get that on... What texture do we want? 7. 7 should be fine. Just... Draw that out like that so that we've got something under there and it doesn't just vanish into nothingness. There we go. And we'll take that up to... We could make it a bit longer, perhaps. I'm going to show you a little trick to deal with it anyway. Oh, it doesn't flash, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're going to hide this. It's interesting that shift is no longer the stop snapping thing. How does that look? That's fine. Now we've got a we've got a building, haven't we? Now what we can maybe do with this to uh, cheat a little bit and cover out all the invisibleness 
as good as a uh, a wall just going along here that we put in manually we want it as one solid object possibly something like that all right get that in there and then at this side what we can do is get us a bit of this just to hide all the gubbins that we've got going on how does that look there we go and we got it on there it makes the platform look a little bit different we can have another one here if we wanted you absolutely knew i was going to spend far too much time on this didn't you it was almost guaranteed i love that this is as a, as a thing now i'm so happy that we can snap to stations there we go is that okay i think that looks the part doesn't it there we go guys what do you reckon we've got uh we've got actual buildings here i mean technically we can do something similar with this end couldn't we we can place I, I don't know what it would be but we can place maybe the brick the gothic reset all these and just have that there and that one there and can we get a long wall again and does it sit about right yes because we can hide it with another couple of these uh those that we've got going on but for now i'll leave it like that because i'm happy with it okay shall we see if we can get us our single track running down here i think it was this side wasn't it oh yeah definitely that's going up like that we're going to have our nice cutting exactly how it is and this went on a little ways before it did something like that i'm going to say it's not quick either that's pretty much how that was and we're going to have to have ballast or invisible track aren't we down the side here yes uh, in fact we probably want that one yeah, something like that should do. Just to represent that there was indeed track there. Let's see if we can't get the climb up to uh, the portal. We don't want to climb too much because we do want to bury our station in, don't we? At the very end. Uh, we just want to keep going up. We can terraform where need be. As long as we're climbing. Are we climbing enough? I think so. I mean, we're staying well and truly in a cutting there we need to be steeper don't we at this point i'm just going to go full on whatever the steepest is i think yeah go like that because we need to get up to the the side here there we go it's steep but not terrible delete this back we'll redraw that bit i didn't realize quite how steep that uh, needs to be okay we're sort of getting there aren't we how close are we to our other station? There we go. Lovely. Right, now we can start leveling out. Beautiful. We're still going to climb. We've still got to climb. I feel like it's definitely in a cutting though, most of the time. I guess we're not leveling out. We're just full on climbing, aren't we? There we go. I know, I've gone a bit skew with not quite followed it correctly we can't do too much of a wiggle uh, okay then we're we're back down again interestingly oh in fact we do need to be back down don't we because we need to make this uh this portal so as long as we've got the room here let's head down and dig in if we can in fact we might be able to just do it like that anyway so you're not going to see this section are you so the portal is going to be out here and it's going to be an underground station of some sort i'm gonna oh not that i'm gonna just smooth this out more official episode and then we can align the terrain neatly once we're done because these cuttings were not quite as sharp as that they were fairly sharp but not super sharp oh i've messed up there that needs to be like that i would say 
and then we can cut it in this way from here like that and then we'll get it all all nice and tidy yeah because we weren't quite on track anyway we we're pretty close aren't we lovely yes and then we need our crossover again so we'll bring you up to that point cross you over i say 25 but it looked actually pretty nippy i'm gonna say 40 there we go and then we'll carry that on a little bit and then we'll get our ballast here we'll just put this by the side and it makes a nice track bed for us at the side of the track where the the second track would have been no doubt right and then we'll have our portal out here are we going to be able to get it in today i don't think so can we get the at least a station in there yes because what we can do is just have a three track kilmarnock uh, portal so in case we want to hold trains there for a long time say representing different services no two tracks should do shouldn't it yeah just go two track uh, 160 two track uh, high speed doesn't matter about the speed just drop that down there we go we're going to bury it under the ground anyway that's going to be about there that'll do of course that won't work will it ground no what do you need to do you need to add us ballast is fine just there but you need to add us we need a, a junction here don't we take that up to there in fact take that up to that point and then we'll have our junction just oh what have you done there that's not normal go just that what are you doing oh sometimes go from there then there we go perfect that'll do now what we could do to block this off even though it'll look a little bizarre because they might try and use it you never know is if we get a ground signal like this and we put it that way uh this way i know it's facing the wrong way but if we put it that way and one way and then we put another one up here facing the opposite direction one way there should be no way for it to uh to go on that piece of track and then we can have a uh a kilmarnock service can't we actually can we have one like that so we can have it the other side there we go one like that beautiful and then over here we'll just have normal signal there but it's not going to be one way oh it's a bit close i just noticed can we get that back a bit yeah, that's a little bit close for my liking. I would prefer you further down. Otherwise, you're going to clip the nose of the train. Or, no, wait, yes, we would. Because we can't get the signal back here far enough. We're going to have that here. Will you go in? No, we're going to have to, unfortunately, move all these junctions down a little bit. You need to start there. Good. You need to go in oh that's better anyway you need to go in there then we can get this in that signals still in the right place lovely we just changed it a little bit now when we put our signal in here i won't feel uncomfortable uh, we won't have these one way even though technically it could be uh, we will have to use these out here oh, well we could have it the other side as well we don't need a position signal on this, or we shouldn't do. Just needs to be something like that, doesn't it? Can we get you in there? There we go. Lovely. You can lean out that way. You can lean out that way as well. This one? Yeah, let's put a position signal on this one. Just there. There we go. I mean, technically, you could have it on that one, but we'll leave it like that. Oh, uh, there's all sorts of signals there, guys. But it looks the business, doesn't it? We could maybe make the platform look like it uh, is going to have some stairs on it by doing a little bit of cheeky stuff with this and using a similar colour. If this is a similar colour, I'm not sure. Something like... It's close enough, isn't it? Is that the one? That's the wrong one. It is this one. Sit you there. 
yeah, I mean, it's not perfect, but it uh, at least looks like it's part of the station now. I just thought, could we use these? And is it these? These are lovely. And if we go something like that, but we shove it down, what textures do we have? I'd like something like that would be lovely. Yes. Right, just take the width off. Would you go on there? We don't really want a gap there, though. We could use these ones, perhaps. That's going further away. Is this getting closer, but smaller? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Something like that. Or there, perfect. And then we drop it down to minus five, plus four. Don't need it too big, do we? Something like that. We could go a little bit closer. And I'm going to raise that. Oh, we've got that on there as well. There. That's high enough. That's absolutely perfect. And we want to make it a little bit shorter, I think. There we go. Let's get that in a little further. Where are we? Six. Should be perfect. Lovely. We'll put that in across here. It's actually sitting absolutely spot on, guys. There we go. Look at that for a station. It's wonderful, isn't it? Can we just keep going with this? I don't know how it will look across here. Yes, we can. There we go. We'll send it all the way across the bridge, can we? I don't know whether it is. I'm just going to do it anyway. Yeah, there we go. There's a station. I mean, you won't see much, but uh, it's a station. I don't know whether it is both sides, but we'll do it anyway. We don't have any access points just yet, and that we're going to have to work on. But for now, it looks the business, I think. I will work on these side bits as well, because I'm not sure what they look what they actually look like. It doesn't matter that we don't have an entrance, technically. Uh, what we'll do is save it there. Check our tracks. Are set correctly. Yes, they are. Get us configure fake little walk down things, I think, is the way we've got to do this. Oh, what are these? Where do you put those? I mean, they're a bit cool. I don't know what we actually do with those. Oh, I've never seen those before. Are these new? What are all these? Guys, he's put more stuff in. Oh, my days. He's been working on it. He's been working on it. Um... Well, we're going to have to have a look at those, aren't we? They kind of look the business. Wow, I'm impressed. Oh, that made me panic a little bit. What is that? Is that an entrance? It is. It's like a gate, isn't it? Like a lift thing. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah, we're going to have to... Uh, max height. What does this do? Oh, don't tell me it goes on the side. With a clock... I mean, that, that does the job, doesn't it? Like that? I think it does. Is that just how it ends? It, oh, oh. Oh, I've got an X site. We're going to have to look into this, aren't we? Absolutely. What is this? Covered underpass. Well, I guess that can go anywhere, can't it? You could have that for now until I've looked into these. Yeah, just put that in there instead. And uh, we'll have a, I'll have a play around with those. Oh, my days. That's wonderful. That's absolutely brilliant. I love it. I mean, I guess... I guess we could put them in. I don't know how they'll work. We might be able to make them work. Oh, don't delete the station. Oh, it's all, it's okay. You've saved it. Yeah, I want to uh, I want to just put this in so it's functional. I think we'll get rid of that and we'll put this in. Not that one. This one. We'll just put that in there and give it a little path, just so we've got a connection. If this does work, I'll be. Oh, it's already working. Oh yeah, they go down there. There we go. Uh, but there is a road, isn't there? that heads round the side. 
uh, like a small road down here so if we extend this off just flat for now and we have a small road will you connect yeah you will you're connecting to there just fine uh, it's not that close but it's temporary guys i mean so far i'm impressed with that right should we have a ride on uh on our new one that we partially had a ride on it depends if there's a train heading through there it's just heading through there now uh, i'm sure we'd like to see it though coming the other way as well i'll tell you what i'll fast forward it guys and we'll get on board all right guys there we are we're on board our nielsen service heading back towards glasgow central where we can see a little bit of scenery improvements hopefully we can't quite see uh, the other line yet. It's down there somewhere. Over there, you, there you go. Kilmarnock line's down there. We've still got some tidying up to do this way out. Just as I've been doing. Um, on some of the map, at least. <laughs> we'll make a big strides towards that being detailed. As we continue lengthening our network. Which I'm really happy about now because there's a couple of things i found out today that have just cheered me up no end and i needed it guys i'm gonna go and relax for a couple of weeks and uh, get some stuff done around the house and whatnot uh, put my feet up uh, recharge the batteries and when we come back ai towns we're gonna do it we're gonna get the town busying up a little bit over the, the town the map busying up a little bit this side at the very least on the southern side of glasgow hope you enjoyed that one it was a bit of a build and it looks the part i'm happy with the build uh, just a little bit of tidying up to do here and there but other than that fantastic oh that looks better there we go trees and stuff in the distance i want to sort this bridge out as well okay leave it alone grand go and enjoy your vacation all right guys until next time take care